So I have a conspiracy theory that Rusty Cage is directly responsible for Dogecoin crashing down, and this theory has evidence. What is okay, it? Okay, what is that? Uh, well, people are blaming Elon Musk for going on SNL, but if you'll recall, Rusty and Elon have been talking publicly on Twitter about his appearance, and I think that has a direct correlation to reactors' millions becoming only hundreds of thousands. No, well, I mean, it's still two million, but it, it's not three million anymore. But Well, it's technically, not... two million is just uh, hundreds of thousands I lost, in the 20s. I lost a third of my net worth overnight because of Rusty. Yeah, Rusty, you gave Elon Musk shitty advice about some stupid fucking sketch he should do. And then he did an even worse sketch uh, to make you look bad. You think that's and what it was? You, you, you distracted him from doing nothing but Dogecoin sketches. Yeah, what the fuck? Why'd you tell? What was the what was the tweet that okay, Elon right. Musk replied to? So so it was what like it was right after we recorded the last show. Elon Musk tweeted out because he was going on to host SNL, which he did last night, and he tweeted out if anyone had any suggestions for skits, and I had one that was him on Joe Rogan's podcast where Joe Rogan progressively convinces him to take harder and harder drugs uh, because, you know, he went on there and he smoked weed and it was like a big controversy. And I thought it was funny and it seemed like a lot of other people thought it was funny. It got like 13,000 likes and a lot of retweets and shit. And uh, Elon How Musk replied back you? to it. It didn't make me anything, but oh. Elon Musk replied back to it with a thumbs up. So it seemed like he at least, you know, maybe thought it was a good idea. But now, who got more likes on their tweet, your suggestion or or the thumbs up? Oh fuck! Let me just find because out. if you ratioed Elon Musk, then he must have been pissed. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Did yeah, you reply no, yeah, saying it, ratio? <laughs> well, I don't know if it's a ratio if it if I tweeted it first and he was replying to me. <laughs> I mean, as long as you get more likes, you ratioed him. Yeah, well, so mine got 13.2 thousand, and his reply with just a thumbs up emoji got 10.7. Uh, yeah, ratio, that's it. All he right. was so mad he got ratioed that he bombed the show, and now if Reactor is in ruins, he had to cancel his second oh. mansion. <laughs> it's it's foreclosed now. Did you, mm. did you fucking watch any of those skits? No. It was, it was horrific. The only ones I yeah, saw- Yeah, it's so bad. What? The show is so bad. It's yeah, terrible. Yeah, I know the show sucks already, but- I mean, all right, I, I guess I was thinking about a lot more today. There's no way that Elon Musk was actually going to do my skit suggestion because he's not because an actor. Because it would have been funny? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, they, yeah, they actually would have had to, like, they would have had to act and... And write some jokes? Right, and instead what they did, they... I, I saw two of them. There was one where it was, like, a doctor, and he was, like, a Gen Z lingo doctor. So <laughs> it's, like, a that doctor... sounds funny. Talk, no, it isn't. It, no, it was horrific. It was. It was, like... Elon Musk is a doctor, and then there's uh, four friends of a patient who's dying or some shit, and they're all talking in what they think is like Gen Z lingo. Yeah, so, like that, like saying the word "sus" and uh, yeah, yeah. And oh, I'm it was, dead it was instead sus. of "I'm laughing" or whatever. Wait, what's wrong with that? I, I mean, if if the kids are allowed to say it on TikTok, I think it's perfectly fine for the adults to say it to really show the kids how cringe it is when they say it. Like. It's just looking in a mirror. Why would anybody no, I don't, I don't be think, upset? I don't think kids really understand slang that way. Like, they when their parents use it, they see how stupid it sounds, but then they don't realize how, that it sounds the same when they say it. And it's not that. Oh yeah, it, that's, does, that's, really that's the point. Like, stupid. it's just a new a new uh, twist on language that younger generations are uh, influencing and older generations aren't connected to. Yeah, but I think that's a lesson that the kids have to learn is that. If, if they're embarrassed when they hear an adult say the stuff that they say every day uh, unironically, maybe they should be embarrassed when they say it, Has too. that ever been the case throughout history? No, yeah. but it should be. Like, it's a lesson you have to grow up and learn. Like, I'm not embarrassed when I hear adults say cringy shit like that because it, I fucking cringe when the kids say it, too. Well, okay, the, the problem was that they, they were, like, overloading it with all these words to a point that it was very confusing and yeah, and it, and it was almost the entire nonsensical. Joke. Yeah, the well, you're telling me joke. an SNL skit uh, sketch was <laughs> overloaded and maybe too long. <laughs> it's yes, like they, this it's like never SNL, happened. SNL forgot the essence of a skit. They think it's like they over time they ended up, they began to think that a skit is just acting weird and then escalating it with no punchline. 
Well, I have not seen this clip, so I should not give it a review. Uh, do you want to like send me a yeah, segment of it, or I'm, is I'm it not f- even worth looking? No, at? no, it's. I think it's worth. Oh God, I wonder if I can even play this on a podcast, or if NBC is gonna. Uh, I'll, let me just see. Uh, Elon Musk, Doctor Skit. Yeah, I, I think you need to see just how bad this is. Um, Maybe you could clip out like the best ten seconds to put in the podcast in case you know people at home. I'm guessing our fans do not watch SNL on a regular basis. They, right. they, I actually heard SNL uh, live streamed it on YouTube for the first time. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. So you could probably just uh, rip it off YouTube. Okay, go ahead and skip ahead to um, 35 seconds. Okay. I'm going to watch this, too, just so I can remember how bad this is. Okay, I'm at 35 seconds starting now. Okay. There's the doctor now. All right, here comes Elon Musk looking fucking weird. Doctor, please tell us what's up with our bestie. You all might want to sit down. Hey, that's the lesbian from Ghostbusters. Oh, is it? What's her name? Just give us a tea. Uh, I don't know. Okay, well... As you may have seen on her live, your bestie took a major L Elon Musk is the guy with the beard? Yeah, it almost looks like a double. We tried everything. Yeah, it does not look surgery. like him. And it was sus for a while. But we have your bestie on a machine. It was sus for a while. That's can. pretty funny. So I was also noticing that okay, right? this Elon that was on I'm SNL sorry, but, uh, moves in like a robotic time, kind of way. Like Cap. Well, didn't he say he was autistic oh, during his opening oh, monologue? Do, do, do bro, autists move like robots? Is that normal? I think so. You know the I'm just gonna go ahead and but I promise, if anything changes, I'll pull oh, up. give it a few more seconds. <laughs> Say less, bro. Well, I mean, if you hey, saw the you first, doctor. like, you, you know, 20 one. seconds, you get the It's just this for four Yeah, minutes. I mean, like, I get it. It's not funny. Yeah. But I, I, I get it. I think there was I a mean, joke about the bestie that's in, that's hurt is one of the kid's moms. That was another part of the joke, but it was... Okay. I mean, I don't really get it, it either. He says that the woman who was in the accident took a major L. I mean, that's... It's funnier on paper than when you <laughs> yeah, see adults maybe. performing it. All right, no, seriously, though, but just just... Look at a screenshot of this. This doesn't even look like Elon Musk to me. It looks like a guy who's an Elon Musk imitator. And that just could be me not being able to recognize him through his great uh, disguise of having a beard. It seems like his face got wider and he got kind of heavier. Yeah. Because when you he gained a lot of money last year, so it probably added a lot of weight. But, okay, so yeah, Elon Musk did say he his opening monologue was horrific uh he does not know how to be funny or charismatic in the way that's good for snl but he definitely was saying like yeah i'm the first um the first host to have asperger's and everyone you know a fucking round of applause for that uh-huh. even Yay, though a it, victim even though it turns out <laughs> a victim that, uh, <laughs> they're better than us haven't you seen the new predator movie oh really <laughs> no the, the plot not. is that the, the predators want to kidnap autistic children because they're superior with their like the way that oh, their yeah, brains yeah, work yeah, yeah. the vaccines are good for you exactly <laughs> what the sure. fuck there, that was an actual movie Dude, yes, you have to yeah, see I the new Predator. Yeah, it's it amazing. Like she was trying to protect her little brother or son or some shit. Yeah, like you, the autistic kid was like the um, main character. Yeah, my autistic kid. They're trying to take my autistic kid. Well, uh, yeah, that it, movie proves that autistic people are better than us normies, <laughs> like in terms of evolutionary prowess. Not when it comes to comedy, though, for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. It, I guess it turns the, out, though. Our, our show's pretty funny. <laughs> I guess. The, I think the evolutionary difference would be that... Uh, there would be people who are more connected in society with like emotion and, you know, like intertwined. And then there's like the, the analytical un- person who doesn't really connect to the society. And uh-huh. they're, they're probably, well, yeah, you, you don't make to it to Mars by having normal emotions. That was one of the other things he yeah, was he like, he did this whole thing where he's like, I know sometimes I say some controversial things and I apologize about that, but I did reinvent the electric car and I am taking everyone to Mars and it was just like this odd, falling flat, self-congratulatory. I guess it was supposed to be a joke, but it's... Well, you have to keep in mind, he did not write his own monologue, right? Like this, not. This I is the know. SNL writers who wrote it. So but, all the shitty jokes, you can't blame on him. So does that mean he like agreed to read all these Dogecoin jokes? I guess Is so. that why it crashed? Why did it crash? It crashed because... Uh, I was telling Rusty this the other day... Uh, what what happens like on 420? Everyone was like hyping up 420. It's, it's Doge Day. This is when it's gonna pop. Oh my god! Like, why would it pop on the day that everyone thinks it's gonna pop? Everyone's gonna get in before it, and they're not gonna have any extra money or 
or at least the very least, they're going to put all the money they want to put into it in it because if it starts rising, they want to ride it, you know? So what ends up happening is on catalyst days, there's no one left to put money in and people are selling it because it's at the height of this uh, hype, the bubble. That makes I sense? don't even get why people are saying it crashed. Like, yeah, it didn't. as far as I know, it went from 71 cents to what, 56? Well, it, went it just to- hit... It, it just it, hit 50 cents like two days ago. So it's still right. way higher than it was last oh week. God. Right, right. No, it, it actually goes, uh, looks like it's following the exact same trend as the last two spikes. Yeah. Well, I mean, the markets always follow trends unless, I mean, there's human intervention. You know, there could be some big wallets that dump and then trick the rest of people into getting scared and dumping. And then it can, you know, do all kinds of weird shit. But for the most part, it's all based on global consciousness and uh, global, what's the word? zeitgeist or yeah, like how much society values it you know how much uh-huh. hype is around it how big of a trend is it wait so did did elon on the show tell people to sell their doge or why uh, did it drop the, while the, he was on the show on the i mean well just dropped because while he was on the show because that's the perfect time to sell you they know no a, one else uh, is going to put more money why in is it. that the perfect time to sell because you know yeah. nobody else is going to pile more money into it they think if everyone if majority think this is the day where it's going to rise that means they're all in already and that means if you sell you can take their money. I mean, I feel like it would be the opposite, that it's getting m- the maximum exposure so that more new people will buy into it. Oh, yeah. They it, should it, go it, up. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, it will go up, but people are selling now because it's at the hype right, height right now. And now people might be signing up for these crypto accounts and shit, but it's not going to happen for a week that they're going to get, a, you know, be allowed yeah. to start buying. So, you know, you could sell right now at the height and then... When they get back in, you know it's going to go back up anyway. So but once it drops, it also you can shows the complete cheap. lack of true value behind Dogecoin, where people are only playing this to get money. But there's, if they actually well, believe, no, no. So, believed in so, it as like a, a currency, that, hey, it would go up. With that logic, people are trading U.S. dollars, so it really has no value, right? Because there are currency traders. Like none, of, that doesn't matter. Of course, there's always going to be people trying to buy and sell commodities. You know. But uh-huh. there's a big – like the reason that that pile of Dogecoin uh, market cap is so big is because, you know, at least to 30 cents, people don't want to sell, you know? There's a strong floor somewhere in there. You know what I mean? So realistically, Reactor, at what point would you sell? Uh, like, I because sell. you can't just I, keep I it never... in Doge forever. You got to get your money back well, someday, well, right? It is my money. I don't know what you mean. Well – so you're you're never gonna cash like, out into like, USD? Do I, yeah, do I ever want to trade it for US dollars? That doesn't sound like a good idea, in my opinion. Well, especially now because of like all the inflation that's going on, the US dollars yeah. seems like it might start tanking. And and so the the thing about Dogecoin is if you if it's not just being treated as a stock that you have to uh, transfer and convert back into a currency, but actually get started treating like a currency, then that is your money. Yeah. It's and the uh, dollar that's changing. Like, like Mark Cuban just, I think made it where you can buy a uh, Mavericks tickets with Dogecoin Mavericks merch and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like your Dogecoin is actually worth value just as Doge yeah. alone. There's actually like 1300 businesses that'll accept it. And some big ones like new egg, you know, the Mavericks, I don't know who's going to go to the Mavericks stadium, but it's cool, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's just cool to have, like, you know, uh, another multi-billionaire behind it. But it's still, you know, is Doge going to be the thing that actually takes off? Because obviously, you know, it's it's competing with, like, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yeah, but it's... So, you know, it kind of, what it kind of is, is uh, Bitcoin was the original. And then uh, it was like, what's the word? A small community, you know, 10 years Uh ago or whatever. And... uh, at some point, big banks and like countries even started investing in Bitcoin, right? So now it turned from the the people's currency, Bitcoin, to corporate, you know, investment schemes, you know, pump and dumps from giant, you know, hedge funds and shit, you know? Right. And then, so now everyone, like the idea is that we keep moving away from the establishment uh, money, you know what I mean? So now we switch over to Dogecoin and abandon Bitcoin. And now they're left holding the bag for Bitcoin while we're on Dogecoin. So now they have to follow us into Dogecoin because fuck off Bitcoin. You know what I mean? Yeah, but is, is Dogecoin keep, just going to be a forgotten the, meme? The, what do you mean, forgotten? Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's still new, but like eventually it could just 
be it could just dwindle away and people kind of forget about it it, it's never gonna go away entirely it's never gonna go away went away fucking really quick everyone was talking about holding gamestop forever and nobody talks about gamestop now oh yeah yeah but i feel like gamestop is one thing it was it was massively shorted so you know there's value in that with dogecoin it's like to be honest if, if it dropped down to one cent i would be excited because i would buy more (laughs) <laughs> true yeah it, it, i'm not thinking of it in in terms of like i guess i don't want to I, I would say i'm not being greedy uh, i'm thinking of it as getting away from the dollar and i'm thinking of it as a better currency than the dollar and th- who's in charge of the dollar who, who decides when to print dollars that's insane why would i trust that i don't know who does that yeah i mean no that is actually my biggest concern right now is um is with like all the stimulus money that was that was printed and all mm-hmm. the inflation, like the commodity prices of all commodities of lumber and copper, all this yeah. shit is skyrocketing, and the value of the U.S. dollar is, if, if it uh-huh. follows past financial trends, it's going to drop, and uh, so the USD is not going to be worth as much, and then that'll probably fuck up the stock market. I'm trying to figure all this out now. Like I don't really know a lot about this, but I'm trying to just protect my my savings, and I'm wondering if I should just put it all into a uh, into crypto or gold. Yeah, you should put your entire life savings into (laughs) Dogecoin right now. Well, Elon Musk did say it was a bad idea. So uh, there's a clip from like 2018 of me uh, prophesizing the the natural disaster that crashes the The economy. The pandemic? Yeah, I I didn't really know it was a pandemic back then, but but because of looking at uh, like gold charts and gold has just got this weird connection to natural uh, disasters, it seems to predict them. So in this video, I explain all that. And uh, should I play the clip in the, in the uh, episode? I mean, maybe a, a small, short p- part of it. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I'll see if uh, there's a good spot. Well, you, uh, so you're saying you predicted all of this? Yeah, I forgot what I was. I forgot what I was uh, well, my for, question but. is: in, in those videos you did on your channel of Reactor Two, where you would just sort of sit there and read the news and bullshit, who the fuck is that other guy in those videos? That was Quinn. My my who is friend. that? It's my imaginary friend. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Like, I've watched so many of these, and I have no clue who this big, fat, bearded oh, dude like, sitting next to Reactor like, is. Like, you, know, you know how Monkey Jones has jump key? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's like that. He's your jump key? Yeah. So, I thought I thought Tim was your jump key. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think... Is Tim even in any of my videos? I don't think so. That's got to be rough when you can't even get your own brother to collab with you. <laughs> I, I probably could. How come he's never been on this show? We're 30 episodes in. This would have been the perfect time. Are we saving him for 50, for 100? What's going oh, on? I'm sure, I'm sure I could get him eventually. Ep- episode 50, guys. Start the hashtag. Tim Pool for 50. Trash Rats Maybe 50. We're doing it. Trash I'll Rats a, 50. I'll put a pocket recorder and secretly record him having a conversation with me, and we can just air that. <laughs> Again, me and Rusty will pretend we're part of the conversation. <laughs> just, just, just agree strategically, a lot. Yeah, just cut it all together. Wow, no, I'm, I'm sure Tim would appreciate it if our 1,000 fans all tweeted at him, oh, Tim God, for God. Trash Rats 50. Oh, God. <laughs> no, hey, hey, because hey, he, he will definitely never come on. Well, I guess maybe it would be slightly different, but... I mean, I could get my brother on the show. How come you can't? Uh, Because, I mean... We're getting my brother on my, for. My brother's uh, not like uh, he, he's he wouldn't he's not what you would consider a brother where it's like he, he mm. cares about you kind of thing, you know? <laughs> yeah, I could tell. Yeah. So episode fifty, it should be my brother, your brother, and R- Rusty's sister, and we're not even there. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what they talk uh, about. Or, or was it like uh, National Siblings Day? We'll just have sure. them do, do all the work for us. Is yeah. that also National Incest Day in the South? Oh, maybe. Are, are you asking hey, me? Hey, whoa, whoa. So, yeah, so, Rusty, I'm asking hey, you. No, no, it is not. We don't celebrate National Incest Day. I, I, maybe I'm too far hey, south. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I would love to have this conversation about incest, but let's go back real quick to the, the crypto. Okay. What I was going to okay. say is like, <laughs> what I was going to say is like, uh, I could see pat- these patterns in the market and it creeped me out because it was, it was prophesizing natural events. Like sort of like how they talk about how uh, there was a lot of put options on uh, the air, the commercial airline companies before 9-11. Uh-huh. You know, like how did the stock market predict 9-11? You know, it's like, that's crazy, man. Well, because because Bush planned it. Oh, well, no, no, that's impossible. But I yeah, I, I mean, think the like, most likely like all outcome, the insurance, all the most insurance likely 
policy is they that, pulled on a on the towers right beforehand. Well, I mean, what, did you want them not have insurance? Or yeah, building like, seven just collapsed because it was jealous of the twin towers all over the place. So, so it's crazy to think that they were in on it. No, but uh, what was I saying? So, uh, but you so you can see like the way it, it acts. And what's weird about right now is I, I actually don't know what's going to happen because according to the the patterns, Bitcoin should crash down to like twenty thousand. You know, but, is that when I should start buying? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, of course. The way I see it, crypto, if crypto ever hits a point, it's going to pass that point eventually. Maybe it's going to be three years, but it will pass that point. So it's at 60 right now. I guarantee it'll be past, well past 60 eventually. You know, so if yeah. it dropped down to 20, it's like, well, it's going to be well past 60 eventually. 20 is a good time to get in. So do you think it's going to crash soon? And what do you mean uh, following what pattern? Because I mean, obviously, like, well, yeah, it does seem like, like it's hyperinflated or it's, it's a bubble or whatever. It's like, uh, well, was it 2013 Bitcoin flew up from like 200 to a thousand or something and then crashed back down to 200. But then, mm-hmm. then it went up to 17, 18,000 and then went down to 3000. You know, it's like they have these spikes and they, they repeat and they're always bigger than the previous. That's how I knew that the economy was going to crash for some reason, because it's like, wait a minute, if 20, what is it? 2017 Bitcoin went up to $20,000. That means the next, the next bubble is going to be even bigger than that. Like, three times bigger and it's $60,000, you know? So the, if Bitcoin is going up that much, that means an economy is crashing. Now, for the I most was part, I mean, it could a, just be super valuable, I guess, but. Well, I, God, this is all so oh, confusing. Real quick, like, let I, me finish this thought though. Okay, I know. Go so, ahead. but, but I, I'm, I'm kind of unsure. Like right now, like it doesn't make sense because the patterns show that it should crash down to like 20, but mm-hmm. they printed uh, a quadrillion dollars last year. Corn is up 44%. Lumber is up, you know, probably just as much. I don't know the exact percentage, but it's like the dollar is crashing 100%. So why mm-hmm. would it go back down? That doesn't, you know, so it's like logically I can see the economy crashing, but through the patterns, the same pattern that let me predict a pandemic that was going to crash the economy. It's saying, you know what I mean? It's just like, I guess I don't know which is going to happen. So is it's there kind of, supposed it's just kind to of be a, a warning to everyone that, you know, don't think that, you know, I know exactly what's going to happen because this is kind of confusing me. Well, I try to keep my head into politics a little bit, but did I miss something? Is there a new fourteen hundred dollar stim check coming next week? Really? No. I got a letter in the mail that oh was like a, a, like from not. Biden, and it said that there's like a new fourteen hundred stim check coming Biden, within Biden's a week. Letters? I mean, it was signed by him. I guess it was, you know. But like, I what the fuck? Is he just referring to the old one? No, he's just a, just a reminder. Hey, but but he said I'm gonna get it within a week. Is there really a new stim check? Because I mean, that's kind of crazy. Did stimulus you check Googling? IRS plus up payment status. Um, stimulus check update is a fourth relief payment in your future. A fourth relief payment in your future. Yeah, it looks like a few days ago. Oh <sighs> shit! Oh, because that's what they were talking about when they were saying the jobs report Let me see. is is terrible. And now Biden's plan is to give people even more money so that they don't have to work. You know, it's fucking nuts, man. I, I had a lot of friends who are like business owners and not just in the sense of YouTube or online media, but like <laughs> actual like business owners like us. <laughs> yeah, they're like actual roofers and, you know, <laughs> yeah, they manage yeah. companies and they're all everyone is like, we can't fucking hire anyone. Nobody wants to work. Wow. Like, uh, Have you every, guys seen the story bas- of that, the McDonald's in Florida that's giving people $50 if they just show up for a job interview? Well, that sounds like they're retarded. Jesus Why would, Like, who, how, you're never going to find valuable employees by offering people cash that you get greedy so, employees. Well, here, here's the scam. Uh, McDonald's is fucking these people over because if they show up for the $50, they automatically get offered the job. And if they refuse, McDonald's is sending their information to the government so that they get kicked off of unemployment because they refused the job offer. <laughs> is that, wait, is that oh, true? Shit. That, that's, that's 100% true. Holy okay, shit. Okay, well, I totally agree with that. I don't, yeah, that's I don't fucking like, hilarious. I don't like McDonald's, but, but that is hilarious. It is strange. Like something <laughs> they refuse the job. Something's definitely happening, and it, it's like in Gainesville alone. Uh, the, you know, we always had like a, a high bum population that was kind of unchecked by the local uh, government and whatnot. Well, somebody should write a comic book about that. I know, right? This is my time to shine. But uh, they like there's been a tent city that got set up 
right downtown in front of the old uh, fire station. It used to just be a couple of homeless people, but now they have all their tents set up. And it's like they're they're starting a small village. I'm starting to see it's this. It's a homeless Chaz? Yeah, yeah. It's like it, it kind of seems like it's starting to turn into a uh, think, a potential skid row type situation. Down. Why this, are you not vlogging there right now? Because I, I don't know. Dude, I'm that is that is straight up the next Rusty Cage video. Vlogging from the homeless camp. What would I possibly do? I don't want to get Just stabbed. shove your Infiltrate camera them. in these no, no, people's no. faces hey. and say, hey, Infiltrate world star. Them. Infiltrate them and then take them over from the inside. Yeah, you already look like one. You'll blend right in. Do, oh, do uh, what, is it, uh, what is it? Do some uh, research for your comic book. Or just give them copies of your comic book for toilet paper. Well, Monkey, maybe we can do oh, it when fires. you come down to visit for uh, Fourth of July. We can go and celebrate on uh, the uh, new You don't Skid think Row. that the Biden uh, militia is going to obliterate those people in the next two months? I I feel like they probably want them... I don't know. I don't know what the, the deal about homeless people is because it's like they just want unemployed people so they can keep paying them stimulus checks and unemployment. And then all these businesses go out of business because no one wants to fucking work. Yeah, they're, they're all doing it on purpose. It's, it's well, so I don't think obvious. homeless people get a stimulus check, right? Because you have to have like uh, an income from the previous year. I don't think they have that. They don't even have an address to receive the check. Well, they do now. They just send it to uh, one <laughs> just guy. Who, tent number five? Yeah, probably all the same P.O. box. And they just have a guy goes down there and collects all the checks. But I don't know. Um, it's definitely growing. It's It seems like it's going to be a lot lot larger of a uh, of a tent community. Just right on the main, the main street cutting through town. Wait, so just to summarize... So according to Reactor, we're gonna have like a huge crash, and the dollar is gonna be worth well, nothing. Well, no, and meanwhile, not exactly. I don't according know. to I'm saying, I don't know. Well, well, yeah, but then tie that in with Rusty saying like the homeless population is multiplying. Are we about to enter some sort of Mad Max future? Like, is America doomed at this point? What's going on? Because I feel like everything's hunky dory well, up here. Everything that's been going on with the election fraud and blah blah blah, like the political war. Uh, kind of says, yes, we're going into a terrible, terrible future. But at the same time, we've got tweets from uh, Donald Trump saying, happy Mother's Day to all. It will all come back bigger and better and stronger than ever before. Do not worry. Which makes me kind of think that it's all going to come back bigger, better and stronger than ever before. And I don't have to worry. So, Oh, that's good. Okay. I so thought you cool. were anti-Trump now. Huh? Like I thought well, you were anti-Trump I, after how he treated his own supporters a few months ago. Yeah, well... But that was only because he lost, and now he's saying he won again. So, you know, I just want to, you know, I support the winners. I'm a winner, so I support winners. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's kind of the, the statistically, they, uh, whenever they do uh, at post-election interviews, most people lie and claim that they I'm not lying. voted for the winner. I'm not okay, lying. Well, you, you guys want to talk lying. about, you guys want to talk about a real tragedy? What's that? The shooting? Last On last week's episode, Rusty... We were we was try he was trying to find the Brazilian jelly arms video and he went to Live oh Leak God. and and Rusty said, "What the fuck? I have to make an account. What happened to Live Leak?" And now there's an even newer Live Leak update. Uh, Rusty, you want to tackle this one? So I, I have no idea why, and I I had no idea this was coming, but I guess Live Leak has officially become defunct. It's no longer a website. Yeah, it's so weird. Why would they like, you have this, like, even if it's not making money, why would he be like, all right, I'm deleting it instead of being like, does anyone want to buy it from me for like a dollar at least? Someone yeah, was that what happened? He just grand. ran out of money on it? It, it could yeah, be like I server guess. space. I'm not sure if there's like weird regulations too, because, you know, Rotten.com was the, the oh, yeah. website that I would go <laughs> to for gore when I was growing yeah. up. And that ended about maybe three years ago, two years ago, something like that. Really? I thought it died out in like, Oh seven ish when people just kind of moved on. Uh, maybe like it was fading earlier. out with the old internet, you know. Well, they they had stopped updating it for a while, but yeah. Live Leaks I thought was alive and and well, you know, like they kind of seemed like they were not just mainly focused on horrific gore, but actual important, you know, news videos or what. What year did that come out? Live was Leaks? that around? The, yeah, same as YouTube. Oh, I'm not I, really I sure. I feel Let like they're see. they're about the same age. I don't know which came first though. Live Leak was founded in 2006, so yeah, same year. Yeah, see, so what's funny is you have two different businesses. One that 
just kind of floated by and was like the outcast video host and the other went super corporate, you know? Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Let's see. Uh, Live leak. The internet's business. Oh, go ahead. Internet's font of gore and violence. I think they mean front of gore and violence has shut down. Video site Live Leaks, best known for hosting gruesome footage that mainstream rivals wouldn't touch, has shut down after 15 years in operations. In its place is Item Fix, a site yeah. that bans users for uploading media containing excessive violence or gory <laughs> content. What? So now, they, how do what? you define excessive violence? What is the appropriate amount of violence for this website? It's, it's up to the deep state to decide. Right, right. The, the vague TOS, so they can be <laughs> in complete control. Wait, so where, where are we supposed to go if we want to see more Brazilian jelly arm videos and, like, four guys, one hammer? Where do we go now? Are all those videos lost? Well, I, well, I'm, I mean, I'm so, sure that Rusty archived them on his yeah, computer, yeah. but... Br- Brazilian jelly arms, I ended up finding that on, like, bestgore.com, but mm. if... If this is showing wow, anything, yeah. all these sites are going to shut down. I, I don't think gore sites are really going to be a a thing anymore. So, yeah, wh- where are the cartel, the Mexican cartel, supposed to upload their videos to scare off rival gangs? <laughs> I mean, are, are, they, are, are they the ones uploading those? Or I thought they were, like, leaked police videos and shit. Or I guess, yeah, they were uploading them to threaten people, right? I, 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 I feel like that. one day we're going to be, you know, grandparents telling our grandchildren the, the tales of old. Oh, back in my day on the Internet, you could watch mm-hmm. a man be beat to death. And get his head cut off with a chainsaw while uh, while the guy next to him just sits there patiently waiting. Yeah, it's been 30 years <laughs> since I've seen a, the inside oh, of God. a man's stomach while he was still alive. <laughs> we, you, you used to be able to watch a guy gather his inner organs and try shoving them back into his belly (laughs) back when i was a kid we used to watch uh guys in vietnam cut in half after they got in a a motorcycle accident and everyone would just stand around filming them so they could sell it to (laughs) libraries is that a real video it's no it's definitely it's a series of videos it's like a trend of videos they know that they can make money from filming this horrific gore so there's situations where like someone will get in like a scooter accident. They'll get clipped by a car and they'll get ripped in half. And they're just <laughs> reaching out, still alive, like holding their guts mm. and going like, uh, anyone help? And there's just 10 people standing around them all with cell Dude, phones. Filming hey, sorry, I, I can't it. call hey, 911. I got to film the video. You know what's fucked up? Like the 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 nicest thing you could do when someone gets twisted in a in a subway train or whatever, you know, is to, to walk up behind them and shoot them in the head. It just if you have a gun, I mean, I don't know Yo, how that would play right, out know? legally, but I know. Yeah, but I'm it, saying that is the be- the nicest thing you could possibly do. Put them out of their misery. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> if you I ever mean, see like, someone, I'm, I mean, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a horrible situation to be in. <laughs> uh, monkey, do you worst. know what? Do you know what a spinner is? And it's not like a sexual thing. You yeah, have I think to explain. I think they're called spinners. Uh, this is when someone gets uh, caught in between the subway platform and the train. Yeah, they spin around really quick because they're being like... And, and they're... Uh, but, but because it twists them, it seals their, uh, their blood inside their body while disconnecting their legs and lower torso. <laughs> you know? Oh, Jesus. So, so they can stay alive as long as the train doesn't move. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Hey, we'll get you out of there, buddy. No, no, please. Just just shoot me in the head. Yeah, I'm never going uh, yeah, to New York saying, again. Like, this so shit is sick. Somebody could just push you for fun and that would happen. The no, less, that, the, the, le- me. the less amount of time that I am alive knowing that I'm twisted in a train, you know, the yeah. better sneak up behind me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, d- yeah. I don't think anyone will ever do that, but I will film it. I know, though, right? And I'll, uh, yeah, well, yeah, filming me while I'm begging to be killed. Hey, Wheel of Punishment 3, jump in front of the subway car. (laughs) Man, you see those videos, though, where, like, the the people are on the platforms and they just... No! At the last Uh, minute, they... We we don't have to talk about it the whole episode, Rusty. I have not seen those videos, Rust. I'm sure you'll show me on 4th of July as soon as I walk in the fucking door. Oh, whatever. They, they, like, push people in front of the trains. Yeah, I saw videos where, like, uh, people try pushing people, Uh you know? And like, that was couple, House couple, of Cards. That was not a real video. No, no that, like, these are real videos. videos. Like, oh, some, okay. Yeah, someone will push someone, and then someone will run and grab them and throw them, you know, and save them from the train. Yeah, those they're are the, lucky. I, I like those videos better than the the unfortunate ones. Well, when they pretend to murder somebody. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like someone will be falling towards the train, or someone will push someone towards the train, and then uh, a bystander will will save the person. Not ah, the same okay. person. Yeah, <laughs> trip them and then be like, "Oh my god, I got you." 
Well, I guess that's the end of live leaks. I mean, it was a good run. Uh, I, I wonder if it's actually a, a good thing in the end because as we were joking earlier just about, you know, back in our day, like when I was a kid, I was able to watch all this horrific gore from a from like the age of like 10, 11. And if they make that harder to find, I mean, it really takes away from the glory of the internet. But I yeah. wonder if it'll actually have a much better effect on the youth if they're not exposed to shit like uh, Brazilian, you know, jelly arms. Well, or... I think we're a good example. Last week we tried to find gore. We went to Live Leaks, and then we abandoned the website because it was dog shit, and we found it mm-hmm. somewhere else. So maybe the internet will be just fine without it. Right. You know what's funny? What's funny about Live Leak is like how people complain a lot about YouTube's uh, restrictions, and like they are a little bit strict, but. It's stopping YouTube from being live leak. Yeah, you know? well, back in the like, day, whenever there's no the Colombian um, jelly arms on YouTube, and I'm, I'm okay with that. The, back in the day, you used to be able to find. I, I think it was during this. Was it Syrian Revolution? What was the one with uh, Gaddafi? The, Libya. Yeah. What? Like, yeah. What about it? Well, whenever that was happening, all like people were filming videos because like they were they were like had an information block, so you couldn't. Well, but also no one because could see iPhones this shit, were out, but people were uploading it. Had cameras and shit. Yeah, so they were uploading it to YouTube. Like you could see some gory fucking shit on YouTube of like you could see Gaddafi getting time murdered. in the street stuff. Yeah, there's a video of Gaddafi getting murdered. murdered. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, another uh, I guess not tragedy was the uh, the Chinese rocket that was supposed to hit somewhere and maybe kill yeah. people just landed in the fucking <laughs> Indian Ocean. But huge disappointment. Yeah. Well, all right. I kind of, I mean, I don't want it to kill people, but it would be kind of cool to <laughs> I mean, be nearby and see it like land in like, a field. It was, it was a lottery I was willing to play. Right. So you what know? is the story like, here? Okay, Just sure. Chinese can be space me. junk Hopefully fell out of else. the sky? Yeah. It's like the second time China launched uh, uh, for their space station and uh, they're very- And they very fucked it car- up? No, well, I don't think they did. They probably didn't. They probably just didn't give a shit. You know? Yeah. It's not like, oops, it's like, and then we don't need the the rocket, this stage of the rocket anymore. So we just forget about it. You know? And then they're like, it's just going to burn up and probably hit the water. Who cares? You know? That's how China thinks. I mean, SpaceX kind of did the same thing recently. But the thing about the problem with China is that they don't really release any of the information on, like, the trajectory of where oh, this yeah. thing could be so it's hard for everyone else around the world to figure out like well where is this rocket booster or whatever the fuck <laughs> it was gonna re-enter and potentially you know uh crash into a uh, uh, chicago or florida yeah, so it's, cra- it's crazy how like negligent they can be and the world's okay with it yeah so china china gives the whole world coronavirus they have yeah. literal concentration camps uh-huh. with like Two yeah. million Muslims in them. They're just throwing fucking rockets they, up into the air and letting them land anywhere. Loans, interest-free loans to the Biden family. And then I also found out today their uh, like carbon emissions or whatever yeah. are higher than every other country combined. Uh-huh. Why yeah. are we not nuking they, China? They are, they are the carbon emissions. They're, yeah, the like what the fuck? Country. Why are we allowing this country to just get away with the most evil shit in the world right now? Because they own our politicians. Well, they also own all of our uh, finances. I mean, I think they own mm-hmm. about like 65% of all Bitcoins that have been mined. And uh, mm-hmm. a lot of uh, the S&P 500 and like all these investment indexes are uh, have are heavily uh, uh, involved with Chinese companies that if we just cut them completely out, would tank the economy. So at least Trump was saying every day, China, we got to stop China. Right. Like, is Biden even <laughs> anti-China at all? No, or is no, he just the, he's, he's in their pockets? Yeah, he's in their pocket. They they there's a video of some guy bragging about it. Dude, World War Three better be everybody ganging up on no, this, China because they fucking no, the, need to be put in their War place. III. We There was just a cyber attack that shut down a gasoline pipeline that they don't even know when it's going to go back up. Gas prices are going to go through the roof. This is war. Like, I don't know what any, everyone's kidding themselves if they think we're not at war. Like, we've been at war for, like, five years or so. Well, let me just say, if we have any uh, Chinese mainland listeners to this podcast, you can uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's like all of Chinese Emperor Lemon's family. Ma- mainland? Like, <laughs> as, if, as if China would allow us to broadcast no, or whatever? I don't think China allows YouTube. Yeah. 
Well, they still might be listening to us. Oh, Can yeah, we? Yeah. Uh, who, who's eight. logged into the YouTube account? See if we have any demographics in China at all. Rusty, can you check okay, that? Yeah, I'll check there's that real enough quick. Chinese. There's enough people in China to have one person for every American conversation and listen in on the conversation. Well, you know what? I also read that um, in China, the Snyder Cut outsold Avengers Endgame, so maybe they're not so bad after all. What does that mean? What's Snyder Cut? The the new version of the Justice League that I thought was fucking awesome and everybody else shits really? on. At least the Chinese have good how, wait, taste. How old is it? What? How old is the... The new... Snyder Cut, it, it came out last month. Oh. Yeah. And I guess yeah. it's playing in Chinese theaters and they fucking went berserk for it. I'm seeing zero views coming from China. Oh, um, that's too bad. Good. That's good. So that's good. I think we're safe. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but, you know, there are a few from, uh, Japan, so I guess we, you know, they're kind of right next to each other. I appreciate, Malaysia. I appreciate that's a different country. But what about Hong Kong? That's definitely not part of China, right? I, I think it is now, right? Yeah, it's definitely. Oh, shit. Or like definitely t- China Taiwan? Now. What about Taiwan? Taiwan? We should be able to get some from Taiwan, right? Um, I don't see taiwan what That's about north korea they're pretty distinct from china right no nah, you'll never see any north korea i don't south even see any south korea either man what's we wrong don't have any this? k-pop fucking singers in our audience what the hell <laughs> we're really fucking up we're not really reaching out to them the way we oh should yeah be. we gotta wait even the m lemon guest Korean, episodes yeah. don't have any k-pop stars listening <laughs> why do we even put them on this show not a single one but yeah i That's mean bullshit it, it, it is, it's kind of a weird thing. This is something I've been having to think about. What um, Mr. Wonderful, Kevin O'Leary, was talking about was like really trying to figure out where you're getting your Bitcoin from because, you know, if, if China's producing it all, then uh, you're kind of just like investing right into their pocket. Yeah. <laughs> and so yeah, you're just you can taking just, wealth away if you from can, our country. Exactly. I don't know and how the whole Bitcoin point of going to Doge instead of Bitcoin. Yeah, I don't know how the mining works, but if you can just have a whole bunch of supercomputers generating that shit, I guarantee oh, the yeah, Chinese you know government has a million computer yeah, right? farms just making that shit all day. Uh-huh. And they're, yeah. they're running it off coal, too, because it uses a shitload of energy. So uh-huh. Why is our government not doing that? Are they stupid? <laughs> yeah, um, probably, like, we're signed to some sort of, like, treaty or some bullshit. That There's no Bitcoin can't. treaty? What are you talking about? about? No, yeah. like, energy. Oh, uh, well, uh, yeah, we're yeah, China doesn't a, give a shit. We're not allowed to use a lot of energy, but China's allowed. Well, is that why their emissions are higher than everybody else? They're just mining Bitcoin like fucking no, crazy? I mean, no, it's, it's the factory country. You know, they they make everything. So they just fucking pump out all these, you know, I don't know what they pump out. I know, yeah, and all I know that, they pump uh, out chemicals. The United States only uh, pumps out like clean, cleaned gases. I'm guessing it's probably not very good for the environment to burn Muslim people alive and have the smoke go out into the atmosphere. Or sell their, sell their organs to global Well, elites. at least that's recycling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, technically. But yeah, we're know, definitely going to war with China. not done using it. Well, is... Reactor can be on the front lines. I'm going to stay back and report on it because we are a news show and no, it is I'll, our yeah, duty to report, report on the news. Too. I was already in the war. Like a decade hey, how ago. come Gokunaru goes over to Hong Kong to to do some investigative journalism and fucking Tim Pool is just hiding in his mansion like a fucking baby? Because, uh, hey, I don't know. Because he's a pussy? Wait, uh, yeah, I don't know, probably. Go- hashtag Gokunaru <laughs> is more brave than Tim Pool. Yeah. Um, well, should we this. go to some Patreon questions? Yeah, I guess we could do that. Should we? Uh, how much time do we have left? Because we could maybe do another. I mean, like we kind of get to decide. We kind of get to decide when the show's over, so we have a lot of time. Or I'll little. say the show's over in about seventeen minutes. Yeah, if we're going by an hour, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's just read some questions if we have any. Um, I guess I'll look. First off, everyone, can we do something about everyone just changing their their names and their avatars to be impersonations of us <laughs> on the discord. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, if they do something you don't like, you can just ban them. That's what I do. Well, w- what I did on my own discord was I made it so they couldn't change their uh, nicknames. Oh yeah. And, we uh, could do that here. You can just make them call them whatever you want. Yeah. We, we get to pick their nicknames. Well, uh, we were doing that, but I gave them the, the nickname thing back. Cause I don't care. All right, let's see. I don't know the last question that we 
asked was... See, now I'm fucking confused because all the questions are coming from uh, uh, from you, Monkey, and from Emperor Lemon and myself. Because everyone who's asking the questions is changing their name. Well, okay, I just took away their privilege, and <laughs> oh. it looks like their names did not revert back automatically, though. That's too bad. Yeah. Now oh, they're well. stuck impersonating <laughs> us forever. <laughs> yeah, let's keep it like that. Okay. Yeah, at, at they made their choice. It. Yeah. Yeah, they think being me is so much fun. Let's see how you like it oh. now, fuckers. You're stuck being me. I'll switch my name to what you were. I'll trade lives. You'll see how <laughs> shitty it is. All right, out of all the... Uh, no, we already did all this. A bunch of stupid questions. Um, Is YouTube starting to really hammer it down your throats to use shorts for videos? Um, Are you familiar with YouTube shorts, Mumkey or Reactor? Uh... I've seen no. them in my recommended a lot, but I don't watch them because like? I don't I don't want to watch a ten second like video. YouTube Vine. Yeah, it seems like they're trying to kind of take over the or jump in on like the TikTok market or the uh, Instagram has reels. Yeah. Twitter tried some bullshit that no one used, and so YouTube's doing shorts, which is just short videos that are less than a minute long, and it kind of has them in its own algorithm and its own like viewing area so it's just tiktok yeah yeah pretty much I, I i personally i think it's gonna fail like it's it's kind of convoluting the solid system that youtube already has which is being the the monopoly on like long form videos but yeah i don't you know. can't even put ads on a video that short what is the point Right, I, I I forget how they do ads. Like there there's some ways to monetize them, but it's not near as much. But you're supposed to get a shitload more views. I've only done one short video so far, and it almost played out exactly like any other video I would post. Uh, so it just it seems like a waste of time right now. I mean, it might actually become like the way of the future, but I don't see the really the point of it. It's just more shit that you have to worry about trying to create content for. But whatever, been wrong before. Yeah, I'm never gonna make a short because, uh, I mean, if, if my all my video ideas are gonna be over like ten minutes, I don't have anything that'll be like ten seconds long that's worth uploading. Right, it's all just gonna be mediocre, well, goofy skits. Well, yeah, you could do uh, lip syncing to '80s songs while driving in your car. Yeah, you should do that, monkey. <laughs> Seems safe. Yeah, um, Kleptomanta asks, is. who is Rusty and Reactor's favorite One Piece character? Good I know question. they've never read it, but they still have uh, to pick. Can you can you name some characters, Jimmy? I can name every character, but they're asking oh, what wow, your favorite impressive. is. Dude, I have a whole One Piece channel now. Monkey D. Jones. Everybody should go subscribe. Man, that's fucking crazy that you're <laughs> you're reviewing chapter by chapter the manga. Yeah, it's uh, they're dense chapters. It takes me like twenty minutes just to cover everything I want to say. Shit, that's cool though. Are the uh, videos getting a lot of traction? Uh, uh it's in terms of uh, view to uh, subscriber count ratio. It's my most successful channel. I'm getting <laughs> more views than I have subscribers on basically every video. If that blew up, would you just uh like follow that, or would you uh, want to do still other stuff on your main channel? No, my my cardinal sin is that I love to stretch myself too thin, so mm. I'll always be working on five different projects at the same time. Like pe right. some people think I don't post videos, but I've posted like six videos in the last week. It's just on three or four different channels. That's not a bad way to do it, though. I mean, at least stay relevant. Like even this podcast, you know, it's not like super successful, but it's at least a way that someone can kind of we don't completely fall into irrelevancy or me anyways is that, oh yeah is that, it's good to have multiple revenue streams and this podcast is like one of my 10 revenue streams you know it, so and, monkey is that your final answer to this question you have 10 revenue streams they're asking you guys who your favorite characters are if you guys can't even right. name one one Mon piece character monkey d luffy monkey d luffy that's mine it's the only character oh, i know oh you like luffy the best i guess <laughs> it's Listen, One Piece, whenever that came out, like whenever the first Shonen Jump came out to America, I was in seventh grade and that was probably the last time I read One Piece. So I was like... You actually it. read some of it? Yeah, I used to read the Shonen Jumps all the time and I'm not sure Oh, shit. It's, is, it, is the series still continuing or have they ended it? Oh, yeah, no, it's it's still the, the same continuous plot thread from the beginning. 
and they're yeah, over incredible. a thousand chapters in. Yeah. Wow. I, I compare it to like the modern day Lord of the Rings, and some people think that's blasphemy, but it's it's that epic and grand of a of a tale. I think I think my favorite character is uh, Saint Charlos. Yeah, no, he's great too. He's he's the biggest prick in the entire story. Yeah. He like he's uh he's he's basically what guy? reactor thinks is happening in real life where it's a, <laughs> like a shadow government and the most privileged trillionaires just have slaves and shit like that is literally St. Charles. Well, it's just like I don't know maybe it sounds crazy but I know for a fact if I was a if I had unlimited wealth I would have uh I wouldn't say slaves but You would have slaves? They would they would be paid to be servants. Yeah. And like you know wait on me. Yeah, Saint Charlos is unironically a good choice for favorite character. Well, um, uh, Deranged Ape is asking uh, what our reactions to the the Fauci song is. I'm not sure if you guys have heard What's the, the Fauci, Fauci song? song. Is that the oh, new sorry. Rusty Cage uh, viral hit? No, no. All right, I'm gonna post this in in the chat real quick. You gotta watch it. It's 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 cringy shit. It's almost as bad as Elon Musk on SNL. Oh, I don't want to watch this. Can we watch the Brazilian jelly arms instead? <laughs> yes. Are yeah, you going to put I'll, this I'll in the it. podcast? Um, You should. If I maybe. have to see this, they should have to see it. Dr. Fauci, give us vaccines. Help all the people who have been quarantined. We'll wear our masks and we'll have to stay distant. We'll wash our hands and we'll be more resistant. Fauci. This fucking nerd is yes. lucky he's wearing a mask because this would please. ruin anybody's life. We'll I wonder if they've doxed him. Can fight off he I hope so. Restrictions oh. Can you do a cover of this for your TikTok? Ease. Yeah, actually, I Dr. think I might. Fauci, you really should. Me. I know, I know. It's, it's just cringy enough. <laughs> All right. I had to stop after 27 seconds. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely, uh, it's difficult to get through, but I think I will do a, a cover of it <laughs> while it's still fresh in the minds. I mean, he's dressed in a way that you dress on the norm, so you don't have to worry about the costume. You, you I know don't the, fu- dress the funniest like thing, the funniest thing about all these like, uh, video propaganda songs that are like going around, like everyone's saying, like, you know, take your vaccine, put on your mask. They're they're following in the footsteps of like what uh like Nazi Germany did, you know, and like how they like indoctrinated people and you know and right. got them to obey. So in like forty years, like it was one thing to do be indoctrinated by the Nazis, you know, it's, and it's like not their fault, but they were just misled. But it, yeah, it was you like, go along may, with maybe a there few, were, maybe few there were photos though, but like maybe there were photos of Grandma being a Nazi, but like okay, that was the worst of it. We only have photos, you know. There weren't mm. that many cameras around. But here, you're going to have grandpa singing, put on your mask and take a vaccine. You know, it's like, he's like singing straight up like mind control p- propaganda, you know, government right. obey shit. Yeah. I don't know. I just think it's going to be hilarious because you can't escape it nowadays. And everyone's going to say, well, why did they all just go along with it? Uh-huh. And you Because you they go, didn't know <laughs> until it was too late. Like, you can go to, go to YouTube and see them all going along with it, you know? Uh-huh. You can hey, see, I'm just uh, glad that this shit is basically over now. Like, even New York is lifting the part, restrictions yeah. in a week. Mm-hmm. Like, and all Biden's this shit should be, be done. Biden's not going to be president much longer. Why, because he's going to die or because Trump's going to take over? I don't know, because, uh, I don't know, something's going to happen. It's just, All right, it's just another four years of waiting. It's no, going to be the, no. the long thing of this podcast is a uh, reactor's eventual prediction of uh-huh. Joe Biden no longer being president will come. Through. Oh my, can you imagine trash rats in 2024 for the next election? Like if you guys oh, okay. thought we got toxic last time, this next one is going to be oh, no, fucking think, next level. I think unless things are fixed and we stop the media from like polarizing everything and lying and shit, I think uh, every election, every four years is going to be worse than the last. Should we do our predictions right now? And then we can replay this audio in three years. My prediction is it's going to be Trump versus Biden. And as for the winner, you know what? It might be too soon to call. But if I have to predict and we're going to bet $500 to keep it interesting, I'm going to. I'll do it. Was it a four year or three year uh, $500 bet, right? 
Yeah. Mm. I mean, I, I know, know Reactor's going to go for Trump, so I might as well just say well, Biden again. What, what, I mean, what, what exactly are we trying to, to predict? Who's going to run? Who will be... No, who's going to win? Well, I mean, who will I be really inaugurated? That's how we have to word it in the in this America. See, this yeah, time I think something's going to happen where um, where Trump. It's like, not going to be something's Biden. going to happen it's, where it, Trump it cannot Trump. run. No, well, yeah, because he can't run for three terms. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That's what I'm so saying. So gonna, like, I can't really gonna say. say he, I'm not going to say Trump's going to be running because that's illegal. Oh no, go ahead, you talk. Uh, well, it looks like. Rusty's internet turned off, so it's just me and Reactor. So uh, I'll find us a new question, I guess. Where did he fucking go? Okay. I think he got mad. Uh, Giant says, "Why are we still here just to suffer every night? I can feel my leg and my arm, even my fingers. The body I've lost, the comrades I've lost, won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. You feel it too, don't you?" Are, are you asking me? Uh, he's asking. All three of us, so I guess I'll leave it to you. Uh, Do you I feel don't know. it too? I don't know. Maybe sometimes. I really hope Rusty's computer didn't turn off and he lost his recording and this whole podcast was a big waste. Oh, yeah. That would be we weird. could just upload our audio and then they'll miss out on uh, everything he had to say. Or, or, they, really... or they can they can try guessing what he was saying. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, It'll it's not like, like he, he never has anything relevant to say. It's usually just, oh, I'm going to make another knife game. You guys want to see my ukulele? So... It won't be that hard to guess. Yeah, except that he he was reading a lot of the questions and stuff like that. So, <laughs> so they just get the answer I mean, part, like Jeopardy, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, some guy whose name is currently Monkey D Spiral says, "Which Discord member do you hate the most?" <laughs> Probably you, Monkey D Spiral, because yeah, I don't know I, who don't you're know. supposed to be. Yeah, I don't know who any of these names are. A coconut girl wants to know, do you have any funny high school stories? Do I? Yeah. I think I might have told the one where I got suspended. Um, there was a time where, uh, okay, I got, I got a story. I'll try to be quick. Um, they used to have like uh, plays, like the, the drama club would do a play for the, like the last two periods of uh, the day in school. So if you bought a ticket, what people would do is they would uh, get their teacher to sign each uh, period and so they didn't have to go to the class. And then uh, instead of going to the play, they would leave. So one time we uh, we, we got like we, pr- we printed our own tickets or something and we got our teacher to sign them. But it was like at the very last second. And then uh, we ended up uh, looking for our teacher because he was already at the play and we needed him to sign the ticket and we ended up bumping into the vice principal and he was like, oh, come with me. I'm going to the play right now. And we were like, oh, shit. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then he signed it for us. He, he was like, I can sign your tickets for you, too. And we were like, OK. And then like we were <laughs> so we were walking uh, towards the play with the vice principal. And then uh, like when we got towards like we, a hallway that had like an exit door, we just ran and, <laughs> and ran out the door. And then uh, there was like a cop driving down the street and like. He slammed on his brakes because we were running across the street and he, he, he like almost hit us. And then we, I was just like, oh, my God, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. And uh, the cop didn't chase me or anything like I was afraid he would. And uh, I don't really remember what happened after that because I don't know. I don't think I really got in trouble. One time uh, there, there was a big group of us outside and one of my friends brought like a little taser to school, like not like a police grade one, but, you know, what like a college girl would have to stop, like, I guess to try to prevent mm-hmm. being attacked, even though it's yeah. a weak little taser. So it's not going to do Or if shit. she wants to attack people. Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, so, uh, so one of the guys was, uh, let's say he's not the brightest bulb and the whole group convinced him, hey, You know, you know how like electricity and like circuits work. Maybe if we all stand in a circle holding hands and one of us gets tased, we can all (laughs) feel the electricity. So we convinced this kid to let let us just tase him over and over again. And we all pretended like we could feel it, too. (laughs) That was pretty good. Like we're standing on the ground. So I I don't know if that's how grounding would work, but uh, it's pretty fun tasing that kid. I think if you were like uh... Uh, Rusty's calling me on the phone. Oh, Interesting. Hello? Hey, is this Monkey? 
Yeah, I got you on speakerphone. Did your recording get fucked up? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my entire Discord got shut off. What about for you no, guys? no, no, but what about no, your... No, yeah, uh, we're still having the podcast hey, right now. So what, did your Audacity save, though? Um. Yeah, no, I'm still recording, so... Okay, that's okay, good. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I just have this up to uh, to my... Microphone, but is this is this going to be right, in the episode? Let me see if I can get Discord back up. Oh yeah, this will be in the episode reactor. Okay. Well, as long as your audacity didn't get deleted, this is fine. We've been yeah, just right. carrying on without you, as uh, if you were yeah, still here. We don't need you, okay. to be honest. All right. Well, yeah. So uh, we'll just send you our audio when we're done, and you can edit it all together. Yeah, however you want. Sounds good. Okay. okay. Bye. Later. Oh, that's good. At yeah, least the nice podcast wasn't ruined. <laughs> Could you hear him okay? The, the, the things we go through. Did he sound okay coming through my microphone? Oh, yeah. I, I heard him. Perfect. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, I'm I'm very happy that we didn't just waste an hour doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good, huh? Yeah. I guess uh, if okay, we want to talk shit about Rusty, now would be the time to do so. I doubt he's going to listen to it when he's editing the show. So, Yeah, he said his uh, Discord shut down, right? Like he just closed out? Yeah, I guess so. So, but I mean, why didn't he just open it? Why didn't he open it back up? <laughs> He's like, oh man, my Discord closed. I better call Monkey in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, he really wasted his time. Uh, yeah. Hey everybody, if you want to join in on the Discord shenanigans, go to patreon.com slash trash rats. Is that it? Something like that. How much do you have to pay to get into our, our private server with all of our friends? I think it's like five bucks or something. It might be one. It might be any anything, but I actually think it's five bucks. Well, hey, everybody, go do that. Lots of shenanigans go on. Me and Reactor talk to the masses on a daily basis. Rusty is a little more elusive, but maybe one day we'll convince him to talk to the animals. We were considering impersonating him sometimes so that it seems like at least, you know, he's he's talking. Yeah. And uh, you can throw in questions into the question channel and we will scroll past your shitty questions and find the ones that are only half shitty. Uh, yeah. And uh, the news article submissions, you can uh, suggest news articles for us so that we don't have to do the work ourselves. And to conclude, I think, you know what, Reactor? At the beginning of this podcast, like the first few episodes, half of the comments were saying, oh, oh, it's another monkey podcast. These these always last a long time. And like mm. they were taking bets on when we would quit. <laughs> and they're saying like, oh, I bet it won't last 10 episodes. Motherfucker, episode 30. We are on episode 30. It's such a milestone. I think the only way to celebrate is I'm going to go through the old comment sections and shadow ban every single person who doubted us. Yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, fuck you guys. <laughs> uh, we're going to make it all the way to 50 to get Tim Pool uh, 50, on the show. 52. 52. It'll be our anniversary, even though we messed the numbers up a long time ago, and I don't even know what number this actually is. And we skip weeks sometimes. Uh, I yeah. think our one-year anniversary might be coming up pretty August, soon. right? August. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so see you guys next week unless Rusty gets shot at a bar again.